I chose the book Five Creatures because in the story, there's a family of two cats and two adults and one child. Do you remember the other day we read this story? On each page, the creatures are sorted by a different attribute. And I thought that would be a good introduction to the lesson because the children have to sort themselves by different attributes. So we're gonna have five creatures as sorters and five creatures as the audience, okay? And I want the sorters to stand up. Could you all stand up, please? And you're gonna stay sitting. Now, let me see. I'm gonna be looking at what you're wearing. And we are going to sort ourselves by what you're wearing. So, the children that are wearing boots come to this rectangle. If you are wearing boots, you wear boots. Oh, where should you go, Yi Hong? In the red. Come, yeah, come on. The children who are wearing shoes come in this rectangle. Yeah. Joseph, which rectangle do you belong in? Are you wearing boots or shoes, Joseph? Yes, yeah, boots. Hmm? Let's have a look. Let's show everybody so we can figure it out. How about Joseph, audience? Michelle? This is your job. Have, have a look at Joseph. Is he wearing boots or shoes? I know. What is he wearing? Shoes. Shoes. So which rectangle should he go in? No, the lelo. Oh, okay. Over here, Joseph. There we go. So why is just Yi Hong in this group? Because it's, he's wearing boots on himself. She's wearing boots. And why are all of the other creatures in this group? Because they just have shoes. Oh, they're wearing shoes. So what could we call this group? What can we call this group? What did you say, Yi Hong? I said, boot. I hear you all say boot. You heard Yi Hong say boot. What do we call this group? The boot group. Okay. And if this is the boot group, what can we call this group? Shoes group. The shoes group. What a good idea. All right, so come on out, creatures, and stand. We're going to think of another way to sort you. Stay standing. Let, no, stand up. We're going to stay standing. Stand up. Yihong, come out of your rectangle. Let's see. I am looking at the children. I hope you're all looking at the children, too. We need to think of a way to sort this group. What about the children who are wearing zippers. With an audience, they're able to see the children who are sorting themselves from a different angle. They may see things that we can't see while we're standing. They're sitting a little back and they're able to watch and observe more closely. Michelle just noticed something. What'd you say, Michelle? Uh, Yi Hong, his boots have zipper. I didn't. Look at Yi Hong's boots. Look at your boots, Yi Hong. Are there zippers there? So what group should you belong to if you have a zipper? It's a yellow. Come on in. Wow, our group changed. It's a good thing the audience is paying attention. One of my students, Jasmine, decided she wanted to sort the children by long hair versus short hair, which was really something different than we had been doing because we were focusing on clothing. And she was able to make the generalization and move to the hair of the children, a body part. What is this group called? What should we call this group? The long hair group. Oh, the long hair group. I know. And what about this one? Stephanie, what do you think? Short hair. Shorter. Short, Short hair, hair group. So People saw it was my favorite lesson because it really gave the children a chance to get involved and active. They were really paying attention to details and they saw many things that I didn't even see.